hello and welcome to my channel today I am trying to get back to my norm this is my August flux and measurement video so uh, if you've watched my previous video you know that I've had my baby he it was a little boy we named him Jackson um, he is awesome 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 infant um, probably better than my first with MJ this one doesn't cry. I know it sounds a little weird and a little odd, but he just doesn't really cry. Whenever he's hungry or wants attention or needs something, he like moans and makes little squeals here and there, but there hasn't been like a legitimate scream, cry, nothing like that. So it's been awesome. Um, I have not gone back to my workout routine. I did hit the gym a couple of times and strictly for my mental sanity um, I'm that person that really truly enjoys going to the gym and I do it um, not because I want to build a muscle I'm not there yet I haven't gotten the green light from my doctor so I'm doing zero weights um, it's more of just a little more of body weight um, elliptical um, and the treadmill I'm trying not to do too much cardio because I am breastfeeding so I am losing a lot of weight um, quite quickly so therefore I'm losing a lot of my muscle tone and I've really noticed it especially my legs you will see them and I will obviously measure them but my legs and my butt I lose that's where like I lose the quickest amount of muscle and it takes the longest for me to build it so I've got a lot of work to do in that department but the exact same thing happened the exact same thing happened when um, I was breastfeeding with MJ so it's no real surprise I sort of expected that to happen but let me get into a little flexing before I do measurements um, definition I think is still there the arms seem to stick around for longer when I don't work out as much and they seem to come back the quickest when I start working them out. So I guess that's a pro with the upper body. So I, I tend to dedicate a little more time and a lot heavier, more effort into the lower body when I'm trying to get back into my weightlifting. I, so the reason I decided to start going to the gym was primarily because I don't want to get the baby blues. Um, with MJ, I stuck with the whole no, you know, no back to working out or anything like that till after the six weeks, and at like week four or five, I got sad. <laughs> um, not like a bad sad, just um, I think now looking back. I got resentful towards my husband he was able to go back to his normal routine you know he took a week off after MJ was was born and the same with Jackson but um, he was back to his normal routine working going to the gym doing this doing that while I was like at home taking care of this newborn and I don't re I, I'm not holding that against the baby or anything like that that was kind of how things are he he had no restrictions it was me I couldn't go to the gym if I could have he would have said yeah go to the gym I'll stay with the baby um, but within those six weeks I just stayed home and I got really sad and um, and I, I was kind of holding a grunt grudge against him to the point where like for an entire week he would come through the door I didn't have to talk to him I didn't even have to see him and I would start crying like bawling crying like that ugly cry where I can't even get a word out and the first couple of times that it happened my husband was um, worried he's like what's happened what's wrong what's wrong with the baby are you okay what why are you crying and I couldn't even explain it to him like I first of all I didn't have a reason why I was crying I was just crying um, now like now that I'm 
three years later looking back I'm like I think it was that but anyway um so I was just crying at first he's like okay just you know go have some time to yourself go walk um take the dog out for a walk leave the baby with me you go take it outside so that's what I did and I put my sunglasses on because I was still crying and I'm walking the dog all by myself and then I would just kind of put myself back together go back to the condo and I was fine so probably like day three or four of that he would just say here just go and leave and that would just make me feel better you know because you're stuck um in a condo at least I was I was afraid to go out with the baby and I was literally in this little place like almost 10 hours by myself and the baby and it was I mean I was great with the baby and I but once my husband would come through the door I was just like <laughs> just total bawling anyway so I, I want to avoid that and um, I feel great I physically feel like I can get back at it but I'm not going to because the worst part is to get injured then that was really set me back so I'm just maybe just to go to the gym and walk is all I need um, I just don't want to feel sad because I it's a happy it's a very very happy moment to you know have a little new one and and it really does kind of put a cloud over it when you feel sad so that's me that is the reason why I am personally going back to the gym you know three weeks postpartum so um, I'm not telling anybody to go to the gym. I guess this is my disclaimer right I'm not saying that this is going to avoid baby blues or if you are three weeks or four or five before getting the green light from your doctor to go out and Get your workout on I'm not saying that at all this is just my personal view on myself I've worked out pre baby during baby and I'm planning to go back to post after post baby so I know how much my body can handle and I know my limits and I know what I can and I shouldn't be doing um, so therefore I feel very confident with being able to go to the gym and I'll keep doing this. <laughs> um, being able to go to the gym without overdoing it. Uh, that was, yeah, I'm, I'm able to go to the gym without overdoing it and just taking it easy and just having it be more of a mental thing than a physical thing because I'm not going to push myself and risk possibility of an injury. So I just wanted to say that because I don't want you know someone to get the thought that they can go that if they're you know post baby a couple of weeks or something that they should go out to the gym no you know this is me personally not a message that I'm trying to put out there all right so let's measure got the measuring tape and left one with no flex is at about ten and three quarters of an inch now I'll flex it. Wait, I just moved the tape. I take that back. No, I don't. What am I doing? I'm losing my practice. Okay, left one with no flex is at ten and a half. And now I will flex. Jeez, you would think that I would get it right for how many times I've been doing this. Ah, take two. So right one with take three. Left one with no flex is at ten and a half, and flex. Let me fix the tape. All right, we are at eleven and three quarters. So not too shabby, right? But I think that is the bigger one. So right one with no flex is at about 10 and a quarter. Flex 11 and a quarter. All right guys, now it's time to move on to the buns and the legs. I am not going to do my abs because there's really no point. They still are 
in recovery mode to get back to post baby pre-baby um so i'm not gonna even measure i'm not gonna do anything because i don't want to pressure myself to try to get um a like six pack anytime soon that's just gonna take a lot more time and they're just not there yet so um i'm gonna go straight to the lower body so i definitely feel like i still have some muscle but this here has gotten really soft and that's about it it's pretty much my inner thigh measurement just shy of 19 inches it's actually not that bad and just slightly past the 19 inch mark. Can you guys see that? <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Let me do the buns. About 37 and a quarter. Twelve and a half. I think last time they were at a thirteen. Whoops. And this one actually is still at thirteen. And this is still in the works. I'm not going to measure. And there you have it. Those were the measurements for the month of August. Um, I will be six weeks post, like, mid-August. This is the beginning of August. Um, so I am planning to just get right back at it as soon as the doctor gives me the green light and doing my weightlifting. Um, obviously, step by step, I'm not going to just jump into it because it takes time. And I actually attempted to do a pull-up the other day, my first time at the gym. Um, a little aggressive, I know, but I wasn't able to do one. I didn't over try. I just wanted to see what I had in me and I had zero in me um, I couldn't even do one but like I said I didn't push myself too hard because the inside is still recovering and I get that so I didn't want to push too hard but I was really tempted and I got zero um, but I haven't done a pull-up since I got pregnant so that's about 10 months now so goals that's where what we have and what we need in order to continue to push ourselves pull-ups I am going to come back and try to hit seven. I don't know why seven, but that is like my go-to number for pull-ups. Um, last time, pre-baby, I was at five. So I am literally starting from zero, but that's okay. All right, you guys, enough chatting. I will catch you guys at the next one. Bye.